Each person is unique with their own needs, interests, and goals. Helping people achieve their goals is what we at Community Living Toronto are all about. Throughout the greater Toronto area, Community Living assists over 6,000 people who have an intellectual disability with four regional offices in Central Toronto, Etobicoke, North York, and Scarborough, we are able to provide innovative intellectual support that is designed to suit each individual's needs. For people who have an intellectual disability and their families, Community Living is there, helping to enhance people's lives. For seven decades now, we've been all about people. began in the late 40s. In fact, the first, the first association in Ontario, strangely enough, was not in Toronto. It was in Kirkland Lake. But it started in Toronto, I believe, in 1948, Eight. 48, when a woman put an ad in the Toronto Star saying that she had a, for the phrase she used, yeah. a, ha a handicapped child. Uh, and were there others out there with the same kind of interests? And she called a meeting, I believe. It was held in the church, and there were 70 people at that first meeting. So that it was parents coming together, grandparents, sisters, brothers, just whoever was most in, introduced, you know, included with this person, and they came together to try and make a difference. Community living is is an amazing advocate. Um, within the uh, sector uh, as far as raising the awareness and providing what I'd classify as indirect support to numerous individuals, uh, whether it's working with the government as far as funding is concerned, whether it's connectability program that we currently have, uh, whether it's pulling together other agencies as far as how can we do things better for the individuals that we support. The majority of our members are parents of persons with handicap. Um, although we have many, many other people who just selected this particular um, kind of organization to make their contribution to society. But the, the, the largest number have always been and will remain, I suspect, uh, parents. Although more and more um, we are bringing um, people with intellectual handicaps into the mainstream of the organization. What I do as a member I participate into a lot of committees and I'm on like different uh, board council meetings and I just uh, and I come to many other advocacy programs and uh, I even as well participate into a, a research program that works with people with um, pictures of people with disabilities. Even when I went to the um, Self Advocates Conference in Niagara Falls back in 2004 during the open mic session I talked about getting the art, uh, the School of the Arts in their own community, which I brought that up, and a lot of people are cheering for me. All I know is what I have, I got a diamond in my hand. If you have children who are all disabled together, then they never learn the norms that other kids learn, where, where you, you know, go out and do things in the community and so it's really important and I understand you went to see Nisha today and you can see how important it is. Nisha is part of an inclusive program in Scarborough and that is the kind of thing we've been working for for many years. I like my school because I love the friends. I would like to be a teacher like Miss Henry. They teach people um, many stuff like going to dent training and learning how to take the TTC and, and how people get into programs like going to school. 
Inclusion is very important because all kids need to be educated and Nisha's a regular child, she needs to be educated. We shouldn't be asking why inclusion, we should be asking why not. Community leave me made me who I am today. Like I am more comfortable. I I believe in myself, I believe in my rights. I know my son has the right to go to school and the right to participate in the community. So I feel empowered. In the future, when the kids have all gone to school together and Joe goes on to be the head of Loblaws and Pete goes on to work in a bank and then their feelings about, hand, about hiring people with intellectual disabilities disappear because they've known them from being kids. People with intellectual handicaps in many cases become very, very loyal, very devoted employees and really are so appreciative of having a job that they work very hard to do it, to do it well. One of the, the keys to uh, having uh, individuals who are uh, intellectually challenged is once they learn the job, and w w especially if, they, if, they, if they're treated right, they're with you forever. This is, this is her life, she loves it. I worked at Tim Hortons for 11 years with Mark Wafer. I used to work at um, the main store and a long time ago. See, see, your parents not here for, for a long time, right? And so someday you plan to move on your own with your friend, or loving friend, and and you, then you have to carry on from there, right? And you, to, you need job, you need money, you need people, family people, and to socialize. Community Living Toronto is important because it, it supports people of all abilities, of all ages, in all aspects. May it be getting a job or being able to learn to live on their own, or if someone can't live on their own, being able to give them the support so that they could live in, away from their parents with other people, with support staff. These programs won't work unless we have organizations like Community Living. And uh, in, in, a, in a society like ours, you know, Canada is a wealthy, wealthy country, we should definitely have uh, programs like Community Living. Absolutely. And they should be well funded too. Uh, Sean comes here and works uh, uh, three days a week and has uh, somebody to help him out. That was the, the thing that really allayed the concerns that we had about uh, the maintenance, the extra maintenance that might be involved. The workers that have been uh, uh, with Sean have been fabulous and, uh, and Sean's been working out just great for us. Uh, he's, he's got a great attitude, he's always smiling, does pretty much everything that, uh, that he's supposed to without complaining, he's, he's a breath of fresh air. What we need to do is have more and more people realize the good things we're doing and take Come involved and take part. Community Living receives uh, the majority of its support from the Ontario government uh, at this point and uh, although we greatly appreciate that support it's not enough to cover all the programs and all the individuals that, that we want to continue to support. I felt before I came to community living, I was worthless. And they taught me a different way to look at life. Community Living Toronto always helped me achieve my goals and uh, always has been there for me for any other uh, support that I needed or anytime if there's any issues or I'm having problems with my life uh, about anything. I encourage everybody to help community living like economically like, it's an association that really needs your support and help. Look at the many, many people that have been benefiting, including myself. Oh.